recording has begun for this call Great. on October 20th. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Asia Pacific Community Call mm. uh, on October 20th. And I think it's October 20th for everybody. Um, so welcome. Uh, I put the minutes in the chat. So if you could open those up and I will also, Sean, can you make me co-host? Uh, I sure can. I should be able to. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. You are the co-host. Just so I can share my screen. Uh, okay, that should be the one. Um, so, so today we have a few things on the agenda. Um, so who put these on? Thank you very much because I didn't do it. Um, but the first thing that we're going to take a look at, actually, maybe the first thing that I do just want to talk about is the uh, metrics release. Because we did have, just because that was a fairly large event that occurred uh, very recently. So just as a note for everybody on this on this call, and I think many of you know, we had a, a recent metrics release from the chaos community. Um, I don't even know how many metrics we had. I think it was in the teens. How many? 70. 17? 70 in total. And oh, I 70 think total, yeah. We have 40 new or revised metrics. Oh, right. Well, thank you, Shoya. You know better than I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so absolutely wonderful. I mean, it was a great round. And um, this, more importantly, or just as importantly, uh, this was also the first release that included the uh, the Chinese translations. Um, so I don't know, did, have you, Shoya or Yahui or Taiwei, have you had a chance to see that PDF, that Chinese translations PDF? Yeah, Kevin, Kevin yesterday sent me the PDF to okay. review the whole things. Yeah, okay. it looks good. And awesome. then also uh, I suggest that uh, to add the people who make contribution on the translation to the to the contribution list gotcha. on this Chinese version. Yeah. yeah. So I'll share and that. I already sent this uh, name list to to, yeah. to Kevin, and uh, okay. he will update the name list. Um, so it was just to add, like, make sure that we have contributors somewhere on this document. Was that it, Ihui? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the last three, last three page. I mean, I add those okay. people into the contributors. Okay. I still have further to go. Okay, mm -hmm. even more. All right, so somewhere down here. Um, great. So, <laughs> I, I, all I can I say what is, you got it. it's, it's not the com complete one. Okay, I just uh, went to, Kevin, I went to just re <laughs> Kevin just to regenerate another new one, which that has includes contribute contribution list. Yes. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Um, all I can say is looking at this is just an, an immense thank you to everybody. <laughs> I was thinking today on my, my run, I need to send you all like a thank you gift of some sort. I need to somehow, yes. other than just saying thank you, I need to yeah. send you something that like is chaos related. So that is certainly, and we have, we now have the, the ability mm -hmm. to kind of ship things mm -hmm. uh, globally. So yeah, I may be reaching out to you to ask for an address. Uh, where I can send something just as a thank you. Oh, that sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I don't want to like build it up too much because you might get it and be like, eh. <laughs> but, oh, <no. laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds great. I mean, it was just absolutely wonderful. So I just can't even, and what a, from my perspective, what a huge like push this was for this round because it my my thought is and you can both correct me if i'm wrong but the next rounds should be a little bit easier in terms of work workload uh, just because I of the think initial so. push yeah yeah there was a massive translation push so so that's that's great so um so thank you again i just I, honestly i can't thank you enough um all right so i'll go back to my minutes share screen so make sure i have the right one here all right, so just honestly, a huge thank you. All right. All right, so um, we did have the contributor recommendability. So I, this is a, I think, would, Yehui, would you call this a metrics model? Is that where we're starting to fall here? Or is this a metrics uh, I would prefer, 
I prefer call, uh, set up metrics for this okay. first, and then we, we surrounding this metric, we can continue to work on another metrics model related to close relate, related to this metric. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so me also for Taiwei. So Taiwei, one of the things that we do is is we kind of bring ideas for metrics forward in a lot of our a lot of our calls, whether it's this Asia Pacific call or whether it's uh, a, a call that's that's like say for an evolution working group or a diversity, equity, and inclusion working group, wherever it may be. So we're just we kind of do a lot of listening to to community members about new metrics because a lot of our community members are are folks who work in the in the field and, and really have experience in this regard. Um, so when a new metric comes up, one of the things that, that we do is just try to start thinking what that metric could be and what the question around that metric would be answering. Um, Yuhui, just kind of a question for you. Um, do you have thoughts? I think you're probably quite familiar with this. And Sean, could you put the spreadsheet in the minutes for a second? Yeah. Handy. Oh, yeah. Yep. I can get that really quick here. Hang on a second. I think we can put it uh, under the risk, uh, sorry, value working. Value working, working group. group. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things oh, we do. You got it. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm I'm, sure I'll put it in the link. I'll put, put it in the, in the chat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You got it. And so. Yeah. Contributor, so this is about contributor recommended community project to another individual. Is it probably communal value, do you think? Yeah, I share the same things with you. Yeah, okay. I agree. Okay. So why don't we, okay, so then Taiwei, one of the things that we do is, is we have different working groups across the bottom. So we have diversity, equity, inclusion, risk, evolution, value, and, and common. So they're different it's working groups as a way to kind of categorize our metrics. Is contributor net recommendability communal value or individual value? Good question. Um, let me just finish my thought here. Sure. Yeah. And so within each one of the working groups, we have like row 40 or row 47 or row 63. We have what are called focus areas. And we further kind of identify the metrics as living in a particular focus area. The placing a metric in a particular working group and then subsequently in a lower level focus area is not always an exact science. It's not always perfect, as one metric may, <laughs> may, be, may be placed in one focus area, but actually could be placed fairly easily in another focus area. We just need to provide some categorization of the metrics so that people can approach them a little bit more easily. So the question here is we have the metric, which is, and then to your point, Sean and Yahui, we have the metric contributor net recommendability. So the question that this metric is looking, aiming to answer is how likely as a contributor are you to recommend the community or project mm -hmm. to other people? And so the question would be, does the metric lie in individual value or communal value and sean do you want to talk about well, it, why you maybe think it's individual value just that the word that's in the name of it is contributor which refers generally to an individual okay i, I however when you think of contributor net recommendability that is that metric is valuable to the community so i can argue both sides like i right wouldn't care <laughs> if I wasn't trying yeah. to build a better community. So. <laughs> I agree. I also agree with you, Sam. <laughs> all right. Well, so then we all right. I, I, you, you make a good point. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think I think it, I think the argument can be made either way. And it, it um, but I, I and maybe community value is the best place for it. Okay. I don't. Okay. It doesn't sound like it's something any of us would lose sleep over. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why don't we just, for the time being, until until otherwise, let me. I'll just add, and then we can put um, this here. Okay, Sean, I'm going to ask you. Whoops. Yep. Can I'm, you? I'm Sean, on the spreadsheet. You, yep. Do you? Could you? Um. Let's put this in progress. 
All right, so one of the things that we need to do is we probably, we have this, mm -hmm. which is a spreadsheet, but I would it be I nice guess. if you can go get the template. Yep. And then yep. we could make a Google Doc. Yep, doing that right now. I think we have a lot here, which is good. Templates under community, right? The template is under metrics. GitHub. Okay. Metrics. Got it. Got it. Getting there. Chaos metrics. Yep. The template should be in there. And if you could make a Google Doc. To, yeah. Uh, then share that with us. Resources. Metrics. You want to share it as a met metrics template or metrics model template? Metrics <laughs> template. Everybody we'll hang tight while we get this. Just creating a doc. Okay. And I'm going to put the doc in the chat. Look at, you need to provide access. Can you? Oh, oh, okay. I'm on it up. Um, yeah. Got it. Correct. Yeah. Making me name it before I share it. You have to reshare it. Sean. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm. Uh, it makes me go through a whole bunch of googly things to do that. There it is. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I don't know if I spelled, spelled recommendability right. I was in a hurry. This is good. All right. So we can get rid of that for a second. And we can get rid of that for a second. So the name of the metric, is, I actually have that already. And we have a question. Hmm. Can somebody grab the other parts of the yeah. Let's just start getting objectives. Yeah, I'll grab the objectives. Exactly. Oh, you got the experiment. Wait, why is that to recommend? Oh, probably. I pasted it without formatting. That's okay. Just because otherwise it ends up being. All right. And then I actually liked this so, can I copy this whole thing or do I have to go one by one? Hack. Uh what are you trying to copy? I can get that. Like out. this whole thing. Yep. Yep, I got it. And put that you in your eyes contributors piece. Yeah, I think that description. Would go in the description exactly. Hello, other chaos community. Yeah. The, there Hello. are so many chaos communities in the world. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Welcome. <laughs> Elizabeth, do you have the minutes? Uh, I can find them. Yeah, it's all, all right. Essentially, what we're doing is this is that we're working on a metric. So, by the way, we did a huge thank you to our Chinese translation, <laughs> our friends who helped with that. And um, we're going to send them some good stuff. 
from chaos, like t-shirts and things like that. Um, I'm going to have to order more t-shirts, by the way. I only have three left, so I'm going to need to get more. And so what we're doing right now is we're, we're taking this net con uh, contributor net recommendability and moving it over into um, the template. And I can take that template and put that here. All right. All right. Thank you, Sean, for pulling that over. No problem. I'm just working on making that into a caption. Okay. I was supposed to add something like uh, anything else, like a uh, strategy filters or yeah so well so at this point what we could possibly do is um sometimes the best thing to do is i actually we just pause the recording temporarily and we all is everybody in this document Shoya, are you able are you in this document i can't tell based on yeah i open up the link okay Elizabeth, do you have this one? It's in the spreadsheet. So maybe we could take a, a few minutes, maybe even just like five or five or five or ten minutes. I was I don't know what I was saying, but five minutes or so. Um, and take a look at this metric and just let's add anything that you think helps you better understand the metric. Would that work for people? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So I'm gonna um Stop my share. Sean, can you pause the recording for just a I second? I sure can. can too, but you can. Yeah, yeah. Either one of us can do it, it looks like. There we go. All right. So um, does anybody want to tell us kind of what they what they did or thoughts they might have? Or defend their work? Anything like that? I have some filters here. Uh, by location of engagement. Good. Yeah. yeah, what kind of things happened for the contributions, like for code commit authors, issue authors, response authors, reviewers. We mm -hmm. can survey those people if you want to recommend our community to your friends or colleagues. And it's uh, also it uh, could be uh, by the by different activities uh, like new contributors, call contributors, regular, casual. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so much related to the uh, you know the activities uh, in the community. So I like that. I'm wondering maybe for an example survey we could ask like, um, could you? specify like I, we we could work this out where you primarily contribute yep to the community project and then um could you specify to elizabeth's point i'm with elizabeth too on this one the demographic segments of response yeah. yeah yeah um so like would we want to ask questions of like geographic where you are located geographically something like that elizabeth what was your thought on that on the highlight uh, i was just thinking like it would be really helpful if you know the uh, you know like younger people love the community, older people mm -hmm. didn't. So like that would be really helpful. But I don't know how to collect that information if we were just trying to keep this a anonymous, but also just as like a one line thing. Like, would you recommend yes or no? Right. Which I know people also do 
you know, a lot of just because it's super easy and quick. And so I I'm, I'm, wasn't really sure like what the rest of the group was thinking. Is this meant to be a very complicated long survey or is this just like a one literally just that question would you recommend? I'm thinking, as you can see from the references, it's uh, actually it's re it's re reference from the night promoter score or system. It's uh, just a uh, uh, recommend that we just uh, ask uh, two simple question. First question is that question, how would you recommend, uh, how likely you, you would recommend your uh, a community to your friends and colleagues. And the second question should be to specify why. Why do you like, why do you not like? Could you specify, uh, specify for that? And we, we could know that which part we, could, um, we are doing um, much, uh, very good but uh, some areas we still improve that. So I add some survey questions here. Uh, for the first question, uh, as, as I mentioned, I use a uh, Likert uh, scale from zero to, to some, some score. And uh, following the question really depends on the first question's answer. Uh, not at all likely or no sure or extreme likely, it's uh, following the different question. So if we if we connect someone's like GitLab account, for instance, to where they're filling this survey out, then that would give us more information about them without them having to tell us. You know, we could tell like how long they've been in the community, how many you know contributions they've made. So we could build some context around that question. It would be limited, but we could do that. Um, but if we're uh, if we don't want to, if we want to keep it anonymous, then like that's all we're going to get is is why um, is whether or not they're you know going to recommend and why. So which is also valid, you know I think. Actually, we are doing mm -hmm. some uh, trying out. Uh, we are doing some trial on our own communities. We are uh, asking to uh, specify their name or ID, but that this is not mandatory requirement, you can add your uh, information, but uh, uh, it's really open. So first we will put those questions as survey into the issue ha handling uh, cycle, like uh, whenever uh, a new uh, a issue is closed, we will pop up this link as a survey link to ask them, are you satisfied with the, the whole issue handling process? Uh, and then we will follow in the, those questions. Uh, would you recommend this community or project to other people and why? And uh, it, we can also uh, ask them to leave uh, their uh, email address because if their answer is uh, not at all likely or they, or they mention some reasons that why I don't like this community, we may be could contact with uh, those people to uh, to do some further uh, conversation to see what's the uh, the uh, root cause to uh, to let you not like our community. So that's that's the tryout in our community currently. Yeah, that makes total sense, Yuhui. I like that a lot. Yeah, and also. In the future, we can put the, the similar question into the PR handling. So after each the code is merged, we will put we will put this survey link into this uh, uh, comment as a comment. So is this you? So you were saying, as somebody is involved in an issue process. Yeah, I, or a PR process, you could. I, pre I prefer the creator of the issue or the uh, code author of this uh, PR. So I will pop, pop up this question to those people firstly. Of course, the people who as the maintainer, I, I could do some the similar investigation or survey to those those kind of role. But right. uh, the currently or in our tryout, we haven't do, do that. So. We are looking forward to the further uh, effect, 
uh, if uh, the the result to okay. say if could help us to know uh, what can what areas should be improved uh, in our community. So, how do do you are you using GitHub for this, Yehui? What are you using? Uh, in Gitty, first. Oh, Gitty. Okay. Gitty. You know, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, Sean, do you know you're kind of our GitHub resident expert here? Do you know, like, if if I submitted a PR, how you would go about immediately asking me these two questions? If you submitted a PR, how would I go about asking you those two questions? Yeah. So, like, being triggered by the the event of opening a pull request. Yeah, and like something we probably wouldn't want to do, like. If it's somebody who opens a lot of PRs, you wouldn't want to ask them every single time. Right, right. I mean, you can create a Git. You could create a GitHub action, and other platforms have similar triggers that would send a survey link to somebody. If you wanted it to pop up in the interface where you create the pull request, that would require some direct involvement of each platform. Um, but you can definitely create actions that would send a survey out upon opening a pull request, like to an email or as a message within their platform account, depending on what. Okay. Like for GitHub, I, I can send an email to the primary email address, or I can send a message on the platform. Is that what you do, Yehui? Do you send a... Exactly. We, we, we had a webhook on the Git event mm -hmm. to say if this issue is closed, then we will send a... Uh, uh, comments as send this survey as a comment into this issue. Yeah, and you can also do. Yeah. yeah, please. You can also do webhooks with GitHub. They just have yeah, this yeah, yeah. slightly easier thing they created recently. That's true. Okay. But the email, I, I we 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 are investigate. We are talk talk talked with some people who are working in GitHub or Kitty, but somehow. They already ignore the email from the GitHub. So yep. So and that's why we are we are thinking why don't we just send it as a comment into the issue or PR? That's that's much more straightforward. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. people will ignore this survey. So once but the issue course, once the issue or PR yeah. is closed, it adds exactly. it adds one final kind of comment. This yeah. says like yeah. thanks, thanks for participating in this issue or PR. Mm -hmm. um, here's yeah. a here's a link to a survey. We'd love for you to fill it out, whatever the text might be, but something yeah. like you that. You can you can choose not to answer that. That's fine. But you, okay. you, if you can answer that, we, we would appreciate that. That's okay. our thinking. Okay. I kind of like that. Um, how do you how do you you how do you manage do you just do it for every issue in PR? Yeah, but, uh, we, are st we start from the issue. We, uh, we actually, we're just doing from this month. We, are, we, are, we designed the whole the working flow about this survey. From the email, uh, sorry, from the link. Uh, actually, we have a survey uh, system to design these uh, uh, questions. So, like uh, the survey I, I said here, I, I mentioned here. So it's really depend, depends on the what kind of question or answer uh, by the uh, authors. Gotcha. Okay, that makes and sense. And then we, after, after we got the, the, the results, survey results, we will handling that uh, automatically. For example, if the people, they do not, they totally do not like our community, maybe we will send mail to 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 maintainers to tell them directly. People hate us, <laughs> but but <laughs> we have to do so, do that. Why why people just give us a zero score? It's much more the things we need to investigate. That you know, usually people just give us like a seven or eight or six. That's fine. But people suddenly give us just a one or zero score. It's he, he or she would be much very very uh, angry for something. We want to know that, so we have to let maintainers or or some people or community manager to know that 
something happened not not good so, mm -hmm. so. so have you thought about the additional noise that this creates in a pr or an issue <laughs> that's true so so i i'm so i as you know that we, we are still doing that as a try as trail mm -hmm. so we, we don't we we don't know uh what's the final result is it good choice or mm, okay. is it by choice we, we can figure out after we are doing some you know more yeah uh, investigation maybe one or two months later i will share you more information about these things okay okay because yeah. i'm thinking i mean one of the listening to you talk as a as a professor we give course evaluations at the end of a class so, which is similar right the class the action is class is over we send out an evaluation how much they like the class essentially uh -huh. <laughs> and sometimes they have a tendency of leaning towards if you like the class you don't respond and if you uh -huh. didn't like the class <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> you, you fill out the survey <laughs> so yeah. you know so so we so that's why we we are send those kind of survey to the most uh, activity okay uh, uh, contributors so they more care about our contributions uh, uh sorry they more care about our community's future okay. so they may share us share with us some real feelings gotcha so, yeah. so we start from this call contributor and later we we we, we, we start uh, send this away to some regular or casual uh, contributors step by step gotcha I'm not sure if I missed the discussion or um, if we, we focus on those uh, active contributors, so they will uh, kind of receive uh, an email or a, a comment, um, receive the survey for every issue or PR they created. And would that because be... We can just figure out, uh, filter out the, the issue closed or mentioned by some bot. Except for that, once this issue is totally uh, created by the human and they do some conversations between maintainers uh, and, and the creators, and this issue is closed, then we will send this way. Otherwise, we will not send this way. We have to make sure that this come there are some conversations or discussions happened during this issue otherwise you know someone pop up an issue and suddenly they close that or we, without any discussion they close that we will not send this way because i think that that issue is not helpful for 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 the people who uh, who join our community they will not provide any uh, helpful information for the common people. Okay. Okay, this is super helpful. Um, I think tomorrow is the value working group. Am I correct? I don't yes, at uh, 9 a.m. Central Time in the United States. Yeah, so my recommendation or my thought, Yahui and, and Shoya and Taiwei, is that we, I know that doesn't work for you time-wise, but we can bring this metric to the value working group and continue to work on it there. Yeah, that's and great. Bring it back to the Asia Pacific call. And yeah, 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 that's great. Wonderful. Okay, okay. Uh, we will do that. Actually, we, I would like to hear more voices from, from the other people. Yes. Can, yeah. We will certainly get that tomorrow. Um, <laughs> no doubt. So we will, the, again, um, thank you on the, we're just approaching the end of time. So thank you on the translations again. And then I think, Elizabeth, there was a action item here for you. I assume EB is you. Ah, oh, that's oh, I the did. conversation right. Uh -huh. I did do that. What did he Hang on a minute. Let me see what he said. I don't remember now. <laughs> After one month. I know. <laughs> yeah. Just get, <laughs> how, how do the cobwebs out? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How do you not remember? <laughs> well, I think that that's a blog post, blog post from Giddy. Yes. Uh, written by Jun, Jun, Jun Zhong. Okay, he did respond. He said, uh, you can reach out to the whole opensource.com team by open at opensource.com. Or if we ping him directly, he can route it. So I can drop that in the minutes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. As always, it's really great to, to see you. Like I said, I'm going to probably be just pinging you on Slack to get an address as to where we can send some thank you gifts to you. So just I'll send a DM. Uh, it's not joke, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's for real. Okay. I mean, the, the amount of thank you. I mean, all I can say is thank you, like with words, and we can say thank you other ways as well. With, with swag. With swag, like stickers and things like that. <laughs> I like thank you. It. Thank you. Awesome. Thank all right, everybody. Thank you so much time. for your time. In two weeks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.